When a myocardial infarction strikes, the blood supply to the cardiac muscles is suddenly restricted. Starved for oxygen, these muscles begin to die and within minutes are unable to keep the heart beating. The cause of this life-threatening attack is the obstruction of a coronary artery by a blood clot, resulting in most cases from atherosclerosis, which in the coronary artery is called coronary artery disease or CAD. In patients with CAD, atherosclerosis can begin to develop decades before symptoms arise. Since atherosclerotic plaques grow slowly. When a plaque ruptures and a blood clot forms, the threat of a vascular event becomes very real. Clots consist of activated platelets stabilized by fibrin strands. While activated platelets aggregate to seal the rupture site, fibrin formation is triggered by the coagulation cascade. An important part of this chain reaction involves factor 10A and prothrombin. When factor 10A encounters prothrombin, it cleaves prothrombin into thrombin. One molecule of factor 10A can catalyze the activation of a thousand molecules of thrombin, which cleave fibrogen into fibrin. Fibrin then assembles into strands. Thrombin also leads to further platelet activation via PAR receptors located on platelets, thereby increasing platelet aggregation. This activation doesn't only happen in the blood flow, but occurs predominantly on the plaque surface. Because of thrombin's effects on platelets and fibrin, it offers a specific therapeutic target for the inhibition of arterial clot formation. Vascular protection through reduction of thrombin generation is a promising approach currently under investigation for the prevention of myocardial infarction, stroke or cardiovascular death in patients with CAD.